Hi, T.H. Colhane for Visit Diversity, the Environmental Sustainability and Justice Club, and Solar Cities, connecting community catalysts, integrating technologies for industrial ecology solutions. Say that one slowly. Um, this is biogas fertilizer down here from our cafeteria waste that goes through our biodigester. And it's going now to feed the tower garden, which is vertical aeroponics or soilless growing. We get some really good strawberries uh, today from this. But it needs nutrients to grow that. You know what? I'm going to take my tie and put it behind you. And then we'll uh, pour the soap. Pour this in here. This wonderful liquid fertilizer is the source of that nutrition, showing that nobody needs soil ever again for human consumption. Soil is a wonderful medium for wilderness. Forests and fields, they all grow in soil. And we need to build more soil in our cities for human beings. And we do that by using microbes that naturally exist in our wastes and food waste. And we put them together and they ferment and produce wonderful clean renewable energy and liquid fertilizer abundant in all of the nutrients we remove from the soil. But once we've got those nutrients in play here in the built environment, we don't ever have to return to the soil again. We should let the soil recapture its fertility and let it grow wild. Meanwhile, taking the nutrients, we endlessly recycle them in the city, growing food, consuming food, turning it back into fertilizer, all without using any virgin soil again. So there's really no need for fears about dust bowls. That was a stupid tragedy that never needed to happen. Marx and Engels used to write in the late 1800s about the first real crisis of capitalism, which was that we were removing all the nutrients from the farms and fields, exporting them to the city, and then flushing them down the toilet and throwing them in the trash bin, putting them in the Thames River, and they go out to the ocean and the cycle was broken. They were concerned that this is what would make capital uh, diminish and thereby destroy capitalism. But it need not be so. If we take their fundamental insight that we should not be robbing the countryside of its nutrients and shipping them out to the city on a way to entropy, death in the ocean, then we create these systems like this with these vertical aeroponics tower gardens. There's some of our strawberries coming up there and, uh, and down here. And then uh, close the cycle in our urban environment. That's what this project is about, showing that we don't need to fight over arable land. We can grow in the city, indoors, and we can provide year-round growing, not have to be subject to the seasons, not having to worry about insect and other pest outbreaks, hence no pesticides necessary here, no chemical fertilizers necessary here, everything just recycling endlessly over and over. So that is, uh, that's our project here at Mercy College. We hope you'll do this too. We say please do try this at home because you can. You can order yourself a tower garden. And now you can order yourself a home biodigester. Look for Hestia Home Biogas and look up Tower Garden. Thanks a lot.